Welcome to Netrunner Max Second Screencast. This week we'll check how to set up Runner's ID. So we click the corresponding icon and a small window will appear soon enough and here we are. Now as you can see I, I already got an account but you probably don't so you you can click if you don't have an account you can click create new account and the first thing that will appear are the terms and we're not scamming you so you can accept them if you can read them if you wanted to so you click accept terms and it's very easy you just need to write down your uh, or create a username and write down your email address and set a password since I already got an account we're just going to go back Just going to go back again and sign in. You can click Remember Me too. Now, this is my main hub, and as you can see, there's some small information about myself, my name, my email. You can set that up going into Profile Settings, and you can write down your name, your email address, and a URL too. For example, I could write Net Runner. Mac.com and save the changes. Oh, well, seems like it likes full address. So we just can just go back. As you can see, the Netrunner Mac now appears as my URL. And now let's go to the interesting part. So we click in my own cloud. Now, my own cloud. It's a very interesting service. It's a little bit like Google Drive. So you can upload files from this interface. So you just simply cr click on this uh, arrow, you click it, and as you can see, you can upload all kinds of files. For instance, we can upload a, a snapshot, which is just a screenshot, an image, uh, or we can upload music but I'm not going to upload anything now but it's just very straightforward and you can pick more than one and they will up all upload the only limitation is that a file cannot be more than a hundred megabytes of size now you can see there are four tabs so we can click calendar and you can create um, uh, appointments and whatever in this interface now w w one thing is that I don't personally use it I'm a, I'm a, to be truthful with you, I'm a Google Calendar user. But if you want to, you can completely use this. It's fully functional and the interface is quite simple. Now, if you go to contacts, if we go to the contacts tab, you'll see that I don't personally have any contact here. But I'll show you how easy it is to set up. So if you click configure address book, it will offer you to import from a BCV file. Now, this is very important because it's very easy to add any amount of contacts you get in any application. For instance, last week we showed how easy it was to, to sync with Netrunner Facebook friends and Google Contacts by going to the contact application that we saw last week. We can easily export all of those contacts into a BCV file and upload it into Runner's ID, into my own cloud, and have all of those contacts here. So we, we're not going to do this now, we'll show you how to do it in a post. So if we click pictures, you'll see any image that is uh, on the cloud, and I don't happen to have many, it's just an album cover, and if you double click it, you can see it in full size. So we're going to close it. And now this is the most interesting part. If we click Super Amplify, it's taking a little bit. Uh, here it is. And as you can see, it's a very iTunes like UI. And the reason is that any audio file that I've uploaded into uh, my own cloud will appear here so I can play it and stream it straight from the cloud. Now this is a very interesting service and the reason is that if you recall correctly uh, just a second ago I told you how it was very similar to Google Drive. The problem with Google Drive and many of these Google services, cloud services, is that they don't really seem to integrate it. For example I just went to a gallery and show you how any file I uploaded 
into you know, my own cloud appears in the gallery but that that doesn't actually happen with Google services if I upload a picture into Picasa it won't be available in Google Drive and if I upload a picture into Google Drive it won't be available in Picasa so they're not really working together same with Google Music first just to start Super Amplify is available everywhere as far as I can see I'm in Mexico and it works just fine and Google Music is just available in the United States now uh, if I upload an mp3 into Google Drive that mp3 won't magically appear in Google Music it's not the same here these are exactly the same files I upload it into my, into my own cloud and they automatically appear in Super Amplify so let's see how it works we pick this artist we pick this and you can see the album art will shortly appear and uh, this is the same album so they all have the same album cover so I'm just going to switch into album view and we can start playing I think this is a nice song so we start playing it and as you can see it all works just fine now the point of any ser cloud service is that you can access it, access it from anywhere in the world for instance or not just from anywhere in the world from any machine in the world so for instance I could simply log in into a Windows machine and show you how I can access runner's ID by going to the correct URL and play all of, all of this music straight from the cloud or I could show you the same thing in a Macintosh computer but I won't, I will show you something a lot more interesting now the world is going mobile and if you pay attention there's a little get super amplify for Android so we're going to click it and the Play Store will appear and as you can see there's an app, a mobile application for Android and you need to uh, log in into your Google account to install it and it's available everywhere as far as I can see and I'm going to show you how that works so this is my home screen and now we're just going to look for the Super Amplify for Android application as you can see it's right there so we touch it and the first time you run it it's in demo mode uh, so we need to add an uh, or, or personal account so we just click menu and go into settings sorry and where it says my account we just touch it and put our personal information so this is my username and I don't want you to see my password so I'll be right back so I, I already set it up my account as you can see it says Augusto Ferretes and we can set the maximum bitrate over Wi-Fi or mobile we can set it to stream only on Wi-Fi we can set the size of the cache because we can change the, um, the how many songs it preloads so three songs is too little so I'm going to set it to ten songs which is a full album and we can just scrabble to last FM even it's it's a very nice full feature application and now if we go back you can see then in select account it still says demo so we click this little arrow and select Augusto Fretes now these four icons are search and you can see a playlist and search and uh, or library is right here D and you can see this is uh, the uh, artist that we were looking a minute ago in, in the desktop so we click we touch it <laughs> sorry and as you can see this is the same album Cowboy Bebop by the Seatbelt it's not quite alright the name but it's fine so we click it as you can see these are all the songs that I currently have in the cloud so we can pick one and start playing it now this will stream over Wi-Fi and let me turn on the volume a little bit and starts playing now you see this we can pick to see playlist or not necessarily playlist but the library and we can click here and see the album art and set the visualizer the, the equalizer for example it's pretty cool and we can set it to repeat all songs currently in the playlist or repeat just one song 
I'm gonna turn this a little bit down. Let's we can set it to uh, shuffle. So it's a pretty complete music experience, and it's all streaming straight from the cloud, and it works really well. It works everywhere. You need to be in the United States or something. Search, of course, is also a breeze. So Go and you can see digging my potato right there, and we added a, a song to our playlist. And you can see you, you also get this pretty notification. If you touch it, you go straight into the application. You can see it all works really well. So this is um, our podcast for today, and I really hope you like and start using uh, Runner's ID. Thank you for watching.